DJ AFK here. Welcome back for part 28 of the Final Fantasy X series. Happy Sunday. Another Sunday fun day. We are going to finish uh, farming that uh, Anima Aeon and hopefully get some power-ups along the way. These, uh, these next temples should be uh, a little bit better mob level so that we can get some XP to, to move forward, or SP, in this game. We are right about 38 hours into this game. Uh, quite a bit of time for the, the story that is the epicness of Final Fantasy X. So I do, uh, once again, need to modify one volume level real quick. <clears throat> and I must apologize. The uh, chat is not working on the uh, Streamlabs tonight. That's likely due to the new revamp that Facebook has done to um, to their interface. It is it is coming up incorrectly on my screen. I may miss anything that um, that gets said. I will attempt to check periodically to just kind of verify if that's good. But that screen over there will turn off after a while so I, I might um, <laughs> I might miss it but let's see we are headed now for for this portion uh, this is a first for uh, for this whole stream we will be using a guide to find locations of what we need to do to get this anima aeon it looks like next we need to go to Bavel temple cloister of trials And they don't give us a location for that. Let's see what might be close. There's something I want to say before the fight. Now yeah, Waka I, has something to say. Uh, I guess I didn't know anything about the Albed. Didn't know anything. Didn't want to listen to anything. I was a big jerk. So, I... Well, uh... I'm sorry, huh? Please forgive me. Don't let it bother you. Hey, I'm guilty of hating those darn Yevonites myself. Well, there's a lot of folk in this world. Some of them good, some of them bad. That's all there is to it. Some of them good, some of them the bad. The final showdown with Sheen. All right, so Bavel. There's Besaid. Don't see Bavel. All right, so where is this place? I I know we uh we did just run it, but that would have been months ago. Let's see. Bavel Temple. like somewhere near Via Pur Purifico, which also is not on here. But High Bridge, maybe? Let's find a different guide here. They are not giving us 
good info. This post is somehow from 2001. Um, yeah, I think that's misdated because of, uh, this website likely did not survive that long and the game was released in the U.S. in 2002. It says that I don't need to go back there. Everybody is saying that you cannot get back to this one, and it is impossible to not get the destruction sphere. So let's see what the prize is. It is a Knight Lance. Kane's Lance, Heat Lance, Twin Lance, Night Lance. Yes. All right. So we do have that one. We do not need to go to Bavel Temple. Maybe they were correct that um, you can't miss it and can't go back there. All right. So Xanarkand, Xanarkand Temple. Let's see if we have a destination for that. The final shot. Yee -haw. Here we go. Yee Yippee Kaye. Doesn't look like there's any exits here. Well, that one was just not marked on the map. They're a little inconsistent with a few of these things. I guess we'll find out when we go to get the Aeon, if we've actually done all the things. Alright! An actual fight! Uh, let's see, we'll go ahead and give Titus a turn. Waka can take this eye in the sky down. And since they are actual mobs... Go ahead and give people turns. That is unique about this game. Well, maybe not entirely unique, but um, when you have a fight and you get the XP from it, it doesn't split it between the number of people in the fight. It instead gives a flat amount per character that was involved in the fight. All right, here we go. He's got his dukes up. We'll let Titus swing at him because I think he still has the counterattack weapon on, which he did not counterattack. He hits pretty hard. Yeah. 
4,000. That's much better than what we were getting in the last ones. Alright, where is this cloister? Oh, I don't like these guys. What's he got going on here? Vulnerable to fire with 31,000 health. That's a lot of health. Yeah, let's uh, let's start hitting him. We can we can always leave the fight. It's about 10,000 off already. But now Orin is poisoned. We got some remedies. That was a decent hit by Lulu. Go ahead and take his poison off there before it's his turn again. He'll get hit for a pretty big amount. Yuna has no overdrive meter. We need to get that up. Gotcha cover. Now if he does I think he does that bad breath thing. Um that's not good. Let's um attempt to not let that happen. Can he be threatened? You don't want to move. Nope. A lot of damage. It was a 4,500 ish total. 1,500 each. There we go. Give me them SPs. 6,200. Nice. Maybe I should fight those. This is one of the ones I did not like to fight. 12,000, but he's resistant to physical attacks. No elemental weaknesses. Uh, I think he casts, like, Kiraga or some garbage like that. Uh, let's just make sure here. It's just one turn. White Wind. Casts Bio, Flare, Osmos, and Drain. Immune to Berserk, Provoke, Sleep, KO, Petrification, Poison, Confusion, Berserk. Okay. Alright, uh, let's... Let's actually see if we can... Well, I think our weapon does silence, so we don't have to do that. We can just hit him. Let's see what happens. 200? Crap. <laughs> let's, um... Let's armor break him. If we can do that, because it, it did not say he was immune to armor break. Ooh! Took all of Kamari's MP. Not good. What does Kamari do to him? 2700. Okay, piercing is good. Balls are not. 
I forget who does reflect, if it's Yuna or Lulu. It is Yunus. There we go. Another 2,500 down. We can just get Kamari off the field. I do not want Yuna White here. Wind to hit him. So we shall cast Reflect on the enemy. Alright, now Lulu is worthless because she only casts spells. Mari can take a hit for 9.30. Ooh! Boren's good to keep on field. White Wind uh, did, in fact, cure him, but only for about 500. Um, make sure Titus and Riku get a turn. Uh, Riku did not get a turn. You like that? 3,700. That wasn't as much as I would have thought. Same as before. Go ahead and knock this guy down. Uh, we do need to get rid of the... You called? Ariman. <laughs> that way he doesn't get a turn. Swing and a miss. Oh, and a counterattack. Sweet. He has 8,000 health left. So 6,000. Well, now he's going to start counter-attacking. Wow! Almost killed him. That was a good hit. I'm here. Yuna's here. She even called it. But I'm here. Uh, everybody else has had a turn. Let's just take them out. We do need to get as high in, in levels as possible, but I, I don't think that running around collecting XP in a traditional fashion is the answer to that. I think we need to capture the mobs and uh, play in the, the Calmlands arena. Alright, what does this guy do specifically? Watch out for Heath. Oh, he kicks people off. Uh, let's see. 2600, that's 10%-ish. Nice. Can he be threatened? You don't want to move. Nope. <laughs> wow, that's a that's a really hard hit there. Let's just pull him off the field. He's already had a turn. Sit back and watch. He's immune to a lot of stuff. I hope you like it hot. 
see how he likes fire. He doesn't like fire. Oh, we didn't get Yuna anything on that one. We did get a Protect Tarj. There's a treasure chest over there that we've already opened. They are kind of hard to see on this really low bitrate. This would have been oh, somewhere around 640 by 480, maybe 800 by 600, something like that. Let's see. This guy just does the poison. Let's try to take him out with the quickness. Lulu's got plenty of MP. Ooh, hit him for 7,200, which is a quarter of his health, meaning that he's got 21,000 left. The Mandragora. Fourteen, uh, just under twelve thousand left. Let's see who he poisons or what he does here. No poison. Sweet. Got to make sure we get Yuna involved in this one. Uh, Riku has not yet had a turn. Thirty-seven hundred. Ooh, almost took him out. Instead, Riku took the punishment. Take that. Piece of cake. A noxious Kate Sith. These guys again, huh? Uh, we need to hit him with armor break, or else we're never going to do anything to him. Come save the day, Lulu. And for 3,200, we we'll get uh, nine, almost 10,000 to go. Uh, piercing is good. We need you know to take a turn. Once again, Yuna is here. Uh, piercing is damaging to him, so let's keep that up. We got like 1,500 from that one. That's no good. Make sure Titus got a turn. My turn now. 3,000. Nice. Oh, we somehow missed Waka. I must not be paying enough attention tonight. There is a save point. And get all um, full health again. Uh, 
Uh, the treasure chest above us is open. I don't remember these guys. I mean, I kind of do, but not specifically what they accomplished. So let's let's actually grab Riku here. The mental break works well. Let's see what he's got to steal. So, its defenses are high. All of them. And its strength as well. And there's a half chance of the monster using Haymaker. When its HP is low, it also releases Blast Punch, which delays turns. Immune to Power Break, Confusion, Threaten, Sleep, Silence, Slow, KO, Zombie, Petrification, Poison. Alright, uh, so he's not immune it doesn't say he's immune, rather, to um, armor break. You called? 42,000 health is no joke. Ooh, 2,000 before the break. That's a hard hit. Wow. Let's go ahead and give Yuna a turn. All right. Be down to about 30,000. We'll just use Yuna's position to swap people in and out. And Lulu died. Miss me? Actually, we can use Riku for this. She has higher agility. Oh, she may end up with two turns here. I'll just get Lulu back up for now. She doesn't need further turns. No problem. Sixteen thousand to go. You don't want to move. Immune to threaten. Man, that guy hits hard. Let them come. Don't want Orin to go down. He's our one of our heavy hitters. Speaking of heavy hitters, let's get some more heavy hitters with some health. Got about 3,000 health left. That was a, a usable hit there. Wow! Good job, Titus, with the 5,800. Should do that a little bit earlier in the match, though. 6,000. A level 3 key sphere. Nice! We actually need a lot of those. Uh, the level three key spheres seem to block some of the higher uh, tiers that we need to run through on on the uh, experience grid.
Hey, he shot me. Ow is right. 117. Wow. <laughs> this guy's got 859. So let's grab Riku first to steal something of whatever this monk has. Candle of Life. Uh, we need to get Orin off the field. In the meantime, we can give Yuna and Lulu a turn. Oh, wait. Crap, I, I cured a zombie. <laughs> Good job. send our mogul over to hit him for an unknown amount since it uh, changed the screen. Hmm. Alright, I think everybody else had a turn except Kamari. Let's let him finish that off. Yep, everybody got it. 5,600. Two Phoenix Downs. Wow. Yeah, these fights are just fine. Let's take out this guy up front. If he's the last enemy standing, he will unleash Thrust Kick and kick one of us off the field. We do not want him to be the last one standing. Two ninety nine. That seems like a waste, but that's okay. And we get three turns before anything happens. But then both of them attack at the same time, so let's actually take out what we have on the field here. There we go. We don't want Waka to die. Uh, all right. And we got him for double digits. 34. Nice. And it is Orin's turn than the mobs, which means we no have worry. to swap him out for Waka. Ninety-six hundred. Give me that uh, setup some more. Four Phoenix Downs. This setup's not too bad either. Uh, but that's that's a lot of turns for the mobs. Let's see if we can take some of them out. So be it.
Oh man, he hit all of us for a thousand. Hmm. All right. Riku it is. Some holy waters, that's always useful. And a miss. No worries. Well, I think Kamari might need a turn. Let's just make sure here. Got everybody for 5,600 and a blessed ring. This guy again, he gave us a key sphere. We need armor break. Then we need Demi. Ooh, 10,000. Wow. That was a serious hit. That was a serious hit, too. It's too bad they put the spell in the game Death because it doesn't work on anything. Like, it, it only works on regular mobs, which you don't need something like that for. Always confused me. The most powerful spells in the game don't work on any of the mobs. There are some exceptions to that. Uh, in, let's say, Final Fantasy VI, uh, three for Super Nintendo, you could uh, cast level 5 death, and what that was was if the mob's level was divisible by 5, they died. And uh, certain groups of mobs, certain areas and all that, were all on the 5. So, you know, a bunch of level 25 mobs in front of you, you could cast level 5 death and just everything's done. And, and you're, you're good to go. That was useful, but... Ooh, they killed Yuna! No! Not Yuna! Yeah, other than those really specific circumstances... Oh man, killed her again! <laughs> You're wasting my phoenix downs that I just stole off those mobs before. Stop it. Alright. Uh, let's see who needs a turn here. Make sure Waka gets out on the field. There we go. Six thousand? And a level two key sphere. Not bad. And the fights are back to back. No problem. We really need Orin to go first. If you say so. And it sends us to Waka instead. Let's see if we can dodge some of these haymakers. 
Those are pretty serious maneuvers there. And back to Riku. There it is. Let's do this. Let's haste Orin. He seems to survive the haymaker. Oh, shoot. <laughs> that was not what we wanted. Um... Luckily, he has a turn right after. We need to armor break this douche. Then we need to cast a bunch of demis. Allow me. This should be right under ten thousand. Oh no, at ten thousand. Nine 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 nine. Kind of like uh, uh, Brooklyn Nine Nine, <laughs> like twice. A maker did not change. This guy is strong enough that we don't need to heal anybody but Orin. Nobody else seems to be able to withstand the hits. There's no point at all. Do we have? Did we give everybody a turn? You called? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Told ya. That was a over seven thousand hit there. Regular hit. That's good. A level two key sphere. Do you need to heal up after that one. Unit's gonna be running low on MP. Almost to the exit. One more fight. One more right at the edge. So 2200 and 2500 puts him down. Ouch! Nice. Free hit. Oh yeah. So I guess Orin gets to swing. And then we'll bring out the girls. Wow, Waka, you got you got kinda hurt. Then we'll let Kamori finish him off. I think that's everybody. It was. Got a glorious arm guard. I was looking for a marvelous arm guard, but you know, or glorious is close enough. What is this?
I don't know if we should hit that. We might come back and hit that. Alright, this looks like we're in the right place. So, for the Destruction Sphere, I think we just have to hit one item here. On your return, the puzzle solution screen in the, the first room that we just moved is now displaying white squares. So you need to find all the white square shapes in both puzzle rooms. Ah, so we need to do this room as well. So one, two, and three. There is seven total on the screen which does align with one, two, what's going on here? I guess I got too close to that. Uh, one, two, three. And four. That would have actually been one of the easiest puzzles in this cloister, except I wouldn't have thought to go to the first room. The rest of them were really hard to remember. We just went ahead and looked it up. All right, so let's go back, grab that destruction sphere. And where does it go? Grab it, return to the second puzzle room, and insert it to the right of the second puzzle room's solution screen. And they, they word that stuff very specifically, and that is good. Yeah, treasure chest. Imagine that. Congratulations, Titus. You're the proud new owner of a magistral rod. Alright. That's actually the extent of what we came here to do. Let us exit. Back to the save point and to the airship. Now we need to actually type in a code, which that makes a whole lot of sense. Type in a code that can't be determined by the game itself to find something. That's the final showdown was shit. That's awesome. Okay, so input a password. Let's see. They have left riddles in 1,000-year-old ruins. Well, that's not actually how we do it in this one. I, I don't know how to exit this menu. There we go. 
Maybe it's the search. Yes, it is the search. So we need to go to 1157. So 11, the x-axis is left to right. Baj Temple. Sweet. Oh, needed to go back up the list there. The final show. <sighs> Oz Temple. Yeah, here we go. Looks like we do have a fight. It says that we need to protect against petrify and death. Let's see if we have anybody on field that is such. Uh, Lulu is stoneproof. That's it. All right. On that note, uh, we will take a 60 second break and try to find some armor that is against petrifying death. One moment here. Right. Now, I don't know about this um, magic counter here. Let's see if we have anything. Uh, stone ward. Dark ward. Nope. I guess we could potentially put on stone ward. Stone proof. Alright, we will need to remember that we did change Titus and Yuna. Stone proof and silence proof. Uh, that is actually what she has. That's fine. Uh, SOS haste. Zombie proof. I like that. Stone work. I think the haste is a little bit better in this scenario. Maybe. Uh, I don't know exactly what we're fighting here. I didn't look up the boss. Just that we have a fight. It said to put on death and stone defenses. That's all we got. Let's go ahead and save. That was just Titus and Yuna that we changed.
Well, there's an open treasure chest. But, okay, I guess we dive off the edge. I guess we haven't been here because we didn't have it in our, our list. Or no, we have been here in the very What's beginning up? of the game. Something here. I almost got eaten by a fiend here. Payback time. Yeah. I get the picture. All right, let's go. I just just figured it out too. This was really in the beginning. We can't switch people. And in that case, let's see what he's got to steal. Water gem, not really worth it. Uh, instead, this is our scenario. Haste. Stone Punch. She's done. Wow. Well, that sucks. <laughs> uh, Alright. Well, let's see if Dark Buster works on this guy. Nope. Does not. Well, our, our Stone Resistance worked on Titus. Uh, will not work every time. We don't know how much health he has, but I need health. Really hate to waste a turn, but if I don't, I'm, I'm gonna die with the next hit. He's the one that needs to stay alive. We might lose this fight. Have to kind of rethink our strategy. Their strategy is only Titus, Waka, and Riku. Oh, that thing gained a haste. Super awesome. We did hit him for a pretty decent amount there. Like 2,800, something like that. Uh, now Walk is dead, but you know, there's that. Let's see. Titus boss, Titus boss, Titus. Uh. <laughs> Haste it is. Come on back to us here, Waka. Walk is done. Now it's my turn, then the boss gets two turns. Yep. Yeah, we may lose this one unless he's just about dead. Let's um, go through our options here and see what we can come up with. Is that the third time we've died in this game? I think so. I, I do think we died a second time when uh, maybe around Unaleska fight 
somewhere just a few weeks ago. So this this may have been the third. That's unacceptable. Alright, so let's set Yuna back to HP Stroll. Recovery Ring. Alright. So... Waka. He has Protect. He could have Auto Med. Won't do any good for getting petrified in the water. Can I do anything with these other items? Let's see. So if I go with a protect arm guard... We'll see what we need to get stone proof. Arm guard. So, stone ward is a bunch of softs. Stone proof is a petrified grenade. Nope. Don't have enough items. Well, son of the gun. Alright, let's look this guy up and see what we can do. Second encounter, he has 32,000, almost 33,000 health. Uh, he's got weaknesses to fire, ice, and lightning, but that does me no good, because I can't do um, any spells with our current people. Is poison resistance, but still takes 10% max HP per turn. Oh, I should have Auto Phoenix and Auto Haste. Wow, yeah, I don't have those. I don't have Stone Proof and Death Ward either. Alright, so use weapons with elemental affinity, such as Fire Strike. Let's see what it is vulnerable to. Fire, Ice, and Lightning. Riku can use Elemental Crystals, and Waka can use Overdrive Reels, or Element Reels. Let's use Mix and combine two Gambler's Spirits and use Trio of 999. I, I don't know if we have that. No, we do not.
If spare change was picked up, he can be killed in one turn by tossing ten times its health at it. It will be 327,000 gil. Wow, we, uh, we don't have anywhere near that. What is our gil? Oh, well, I guess we have it. But, no, that's all of what we have. Yeah, we don't have guard or sentinel either. Let's see what we can come up with. So, Riku, you're up. A uh, half MP cost is really nice, but we're not using MP, so... Worthless. MP stroll. Wow. I like that. Yeah, we got uh, we got nothing to evade with. Anything like that. We do have counterattack. Let's see, water strike. Water is not what he is uh, weak to. Poison touch. Could poison him. Let's try an overdrive weapon. And then who is our third person here? Waka, where are you at? Sleep touch, silence touch, dark touch. None of those work. I guess we can just throw some thunder at him. SOS Protect is not helping us. We got nothing for evasion. Anything like that. No stone ward. We need a vendor. How many softs do we have? 28. How many do we need to customize? Oh, this is a weapon, that's why. Uh, let's see, shield. Stone ward. Uh, doesn't doesn't say how many we need. I guess we just don't have enough. But I thought it would tell us how many we need. Right, let's try it another time here. See if we can just get lucky. He has how much HP? Thirty-three thousand, roughly. What's up? Something here? I almost got eaten. Payback. I get the payback pressure. time. This thing should have been a pushover, because we already fought it in the very beginning of the game. Alright, so we are correct in needing a haste gun right off the bat. Problem is that uh, we need... We need to do 
something. Luck! That's what we need, is luck. <laughs> I do believe that uh, it increases evasion. I, I did look that up last week when we started um, going through the guide there. Not a good way to start the fight. Walk is done. Not even a turn. Alright, what did they say to use against him? Um, said to use Mix uh, for 10,000 or something like that. Let's see. Gambler's Spirits. Don't have any. See, we can deal fire damage to an enemy. At least that'll give a hit. Fifteen hundred. Deal some ice damage. 1400. That gets him down to 30,000. And Riku's turn again three times in a row. Wow. Alright, let's, um, let's hit protect. Is he immune? He is immune! Super awesome. What else do we have? Doom on an enemy. Yeah, that's gonna work. Alright, so let's just go back to ice. Hit him with that. Can't hit him with water. And it's Riku's turn again. Wow, she gets a lot of turns. Too bad she doesn't cause damage. And it's her turn again, and the next time as well. <laughs> wow. All right. Um... What's a grenade do to this guy? 300, so nothing. Back to Arctic Wind. Should be down to like 25,000 at this point. Uh, after he gets hit three times, he does suck somebody in, and then he's going to kill them. Ooh, 5,500. Decent hit. Riku all over again.
damage and armor break. I, I don't know if we can actually utilize that. After collecting this stuff for a very long time, I'm surprised that I don't have more of those items. And he sucked in Titus. Not good. So now the mob has protect and haste. This is not the way to do it. I need stone proof on all three people to fight this guy. Didn't kill me with the stone punch. Let's go with an Albed potion here. We need to get haste off of that boss, but I have nothing with with which to do that. I don't think he can be slowed. This is gonna waste a turn. Oh, he is immune. Riku gets a whole lot of turns for not being able to cause much damage. It would take her 22 turns to kill him. And now Riku's gonna die. Or actually, I can just leave her in there. It'd take multiple, multiple turns. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, he's got protect on. I can't hurt him anymore. All right, Riku. Give us some health. Ooh. Titus is down. But at least the stone didn't get him. I guess that's a, a strategy I could use, is just keep their health low enough to where they can't get stoned, they'll just die from the hit. KO Punch. Riku, and he tried it on Titus, too. Wow. I don't like this guy. But I guess since he changed maneuvers, that means that he's getting low on health. Oh, really? As soon as I get her up, he's gonna suck me in. He still has protect on. It is useless for me to strike at him. So what we do need to do, keep using these arctic winds, and then uh, get Haska going again. He really doesn't like it when uh, when we do that. <laughs> Just KO punch. 
Who's he gonna suck in this time? Not good. He's got a nice refreshed haste. All right, so if I struggle, Titus will die. That's okay. At least Riku won't die. Well, not supposed to. And I can just get him back up. That will waste a few turns. Uh, that actually won't waste anything because he KO'd both of us. <laughs> Alright, so it does look like um, we're having a little trouble with this guy. Let's try him one more time, and then we might need to go farm some, uh, or actually go buy some softs and things like that, figure out what we need to do to, to keep from dying in the beginning of the fight. Because if we have all three of us on the field when he starts to do the uh, KO punch, I think we'll be okay. We can just take him down fast enough that, um, that we might get lucky and, and not die. Let's try this one more time. Is there anything that we can use? We get defenses against stone. One thing we do not want to do is give the enemy any uh, status enhancing effects. So I guess haste will be the extent of what we can cast on ourselves. That will at least give us a few extra turns in the beginning. What's up? Something here? I almost got eaten by a fiend here. Payback time. I get the picture. All right, let's go. I wonder if Provoke works. That is something we did not try. The Provoke works, and he's always swinging at Titus. He has the uh, Stone Ward. Let's just go all full arctic wind on this guy. Did not work out like I thought. <laughs> All right. Uh, no haste it is. Only hitting him for 700. That's that's over 40 turns. That's not going to work. Well, he's down to about 30,000. And he's going to kill one of us. And it's Titus. But Waka has a maneuver. 
Elemental reels. Let's go, son. As long as it's not blue. Eh, not quite. Alright, so he's down to about 20,000. Still right about 20. Let's see if Titus survives this. He does not. But Waka did. Uh, that time. And that time. Wow! This guy's taking a lot of turns. So Waka is going to die, no matter what. Um, how did he get... Oh, uh, Waka had uh, the SOS Protect on. Alright, we can't use that. So what we need to do is go find a vendor, get a bunch of softs, and make some stone ward type stuff for these two. We'll just leave their health low enough that stone won't affect them. Uh, nope, stone still affects him, even if the punch would have killed him. Alright. This battle is now over. Alright, while he's sucking us in, let's see how we get Stonework. Thirty softs. So I'll need ninety or no sixty. And that's only going to give us ward that is not stone proof. We can still get stoned. Just like we were teenagers. Yeah, bad dad joke there, if you caught it. <laughs> Airship it is. All right, where are we going to find a vendor? I think there's one in the hallways here. This guy, Vendor? Lady Yuna has become quite the summoner. A gentle nature, yet strong as steel. She reminds me of her parents. Yuna's old man was a priest of Yevon. But he married in Albed, huh? Lord Braska wanted peace between his people and ours. He would occasionally visit the home of those days. So that's how he met Sid's sister? They ran off together, into the night. <laughs> Sounds like love. Ooh. Wow, Sid must have been furious. Yes, he wouldn't talk to her after that. But when Yuna was born, they made up again. His sister took off for home at once. But then her ship. Sin. That incident turned Lord Braska down the summoner's path. Everything leads back to sin. But you'll put an end to it. With a vengeance. Ooh, with a vengeance. I pray for your success. 
May I help you? Items. All right. We still need softs for just regular stuff. So let's go 99 for a total. 3,500 gil. Thank you. Your patronage is very much appreciated. We could spend all our gil attempting to fight this guy. Or we can equip Waka. We got to get rid of his protect arm guard. Let's see. Something that is not going to help the enemy. Let's go red arm guard. Let's add stone ward. We just made a soft arm guard, even though it's like a fire and soft. <laughs> All right. Let's equip that on Waka. Soft arm guard. And Riku. Let's just go with the... Well, let's not go with the... Yeah, let's go with the regular Tarj here. I, I don't know if we will need to, to use this again. Tarj! Stone word added. Let's equip that on Riku. It's a soft Tarj now. Oh, this is not the way. showdown with she need to go to Baj temple here we go jump into the water should be good to go go ahead and save first because we have equipped our gear we're only a couple minutes ahead even though it's been like 20 minutes plus half hour or something like that uh, if we if we die, nothing counts. Just have to, to load from save spot. What's up? I almost got eaten by a payback. I payback time. Let's go. Alright, so nobody has statuses that the enemy will absorb, and we all have Stone Ward. We don't have KO Ward, or Death Ward, or whatever that's called. What we do have is Arctic Winds. Let's use them wisely. Probably should have saved that for the end, but don't know if we'll uh, actually survive that long.
Hey, we survived a stone punch. Sweet. And we're getting lots of turns, even though we do not have haste. Not doing a lot of damage, though. We can't really do debuffs on the enemy, because we, we, don't, we don't have anything. Uh, he's immune to dark, apparently. And whoever gets sucked in, they're just gonna die. Riku is done, but at least she can be resurrected. Oh, she's, oh wow, she hit him for a thousand. More than I expected. A lot more. Walka hits harder than Titus. Well, not that time. Probably should have got her up first, but mistakes were made. Doesn't look like health is the most important thing in this fight. See who kills this turn. Oh, he's already down to, I'm guessing, half. Uh, and he is cursed. Holy water. And Titus is almost dead anyway, so this is fine. This is fine. Let's see. We've used six Arctic Winds on, make that seven. Uh, that is over 10,000 damage just from Riku. <laughs> There's another two. That's a good hit. But Titus is dead. Uh, Riku is having two turns in a row, so let's get Titus up first. Then we will use another Arctic Wind. And Waka is done. We might have it this time. Unless he does something really stupid like this. And then he explodes and kills all of us. And... Oh wait! Did we win? Sweet! Forty two hundred SP. Wow. For dying three times on this boss. That makes me feel good. Yeah, use heals. 
That's no good. We need a dive. We do. Ooh, an underwater automatic door. I'll take it. Temple it is, or rather, temple room. walk in slowly. Six treasures in six temples. Oh shit, we're missing at least one. Hey, there's a chest there. Mega Phoenix. And Mega Elixir. Yeah, if we're missing one, we can't get it. I didn't think we were missing any. We, we went through uh, what I thought was all of them. Well, shoot. All right, let's look these up again, again. We don't need the boss fight, don't need the stone ward. Let's see. doesn't list which temple is which treasure, so let's see. someone to just list what each one is. Order of the statues in the Baj Temple. Top left is Besaid. Guessing that we don't have to fight this boss again if we come back. Just guessing. <clears> the <throat> Besaid Temple, Cloister of Trials. Looks like we are missing the Rod of Wisdom. have two of them. Maybe we can drop them elsewhere so we completely miss that one. Alright. Let's head out. Can we get back to our original spot? Not 
Not looking good. <laughs> well, shoot. Well, let's look that up also. See. It says when we're in the water to just hit the square key and it sends us back to land. Okay, that was not intuitive. Uh, we do need to save since we killed that boss. That would not be good to... Um, miss that one. Let's do that now, and then let's take a another quick 60 second break. I shall return. Alright. Well, while I'm up, let's go ahead and grab a beverage. Beverage of choice. Space dust. All right, Besaid Temple, it is. The final showdown with Shane. Yeah, here we go. So that we don't mess around too much, let's see here. See, you are in the beach of Besaid. Yes. Then go down, walk up to left, and keep going. So let's go down. And then walk up to left. Keep going until you reach save point. Yeah, navigation in this game is is an acquired skill. Yeah. 
And we have random fights. Hey, the Yuna didn't kill that. He's, he doesn't have much health. <laughs> Let's put some people on field that are a little faster. Well, that didn't kill me either. He's not going to no give any problem. experience. Yeah. yeah! Yeah! Eight! Ooh! Eight SP! Helpful! Alright, so we reached... Save... Point... No? It's there on the map, but it is not... There for us to reach. Problem. Says when you see a three-way go south. Oh yeah. Waka waka, where you at? No worries. Take that. Woohoo! Ooh, twelve SP. And a fight right before the zone. Give me something. Take that. I'm good, yeah. So this looks like the save point that we are supposed to reach. I didn't see either of them. So when you reach the three-way, go south. Man, that would have been really tough to try to figure out. I mean, they'd just keep interrupting us with fights and all that kind of thing. We're in a hurry. We want our Aeon. Gimme, gimme. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Next screen is a straightforward path that brings you to be saved. Uh, it says Dark Valley 4 is going to attack, but I believe that is only on the remastered version. I don't remember any of those Dark Aeons in this game. Uh, they must have added those for the, the newer version of the game. There we go. That looks like a temple to me. I think this was the first one I broke into. I was super worried about Yuna. Alright, let's see how to run through this one super fast. Alright. Examine the second glyph. Lifts fear into the door at the bottom of the stairs. Okay. So I 
gonna take this, touch this glyph, take the sphere, set it into this door. Take the glyph sphere from the now open door Carry it down the passageway and insert it into the next recess you come across. <laughs> That's easy enough. Wish all the puzzles were that super simple. This will open a room with a destruction sphere, but leave it for now. Continue down the passageway and examine the writing on the wall opposite the pedestal. Open a new room. Go inside, pick up a besaid sphere. It would have been faster to just look all of these up as we did them the first time, but that would have been no fun. We, we wouldn't uh, have solved any puzzles that way. All right, take that and put it in the pedestal open another room head back to the destruction sphere and pick it up destruction sphere place it let's see put the destruction sphere into the place where you found the besaid sphere that would be this side. Alright, that's easy enough. That was quick. But at least we missed an easy one. Instead of one that's going to take like 16 hours and stuff. Rod of Wisdom! Find a save point, get back to the airship, back to the Baj Temple. There's probably other stuff in these areas that we need to obtain, but that's not our current objective, and I don't feel like reading about everything that, uh, can and be done. Ooh, more random fights. We are getting spheres for these, though. I mean, they're regular spheres. I, I don't know if we're capped out on those or not, but that is at least something that they're dropping for wasting our time. We can save right before we get to the uh, the room there, just in the case shenanigans occur. Seat. I do like their overhead view there when you're searching for places in the airship. It kind of gave it a, a three-dimensional feel, even though it's not 
what today we would consider three-dimensional. It was more like a, a layered is isometric view, but uh, still looked three-dimensional 20 years ago. Nice. No bosses in the way, just make it to the room. Alright, now are all of these activated already? They are not. So we do need to run around to each uh, statue, I guess. Activate those. Nice. There we go. We can now enter the door. What's behind that door, son? She's got to do her uh, little blitz ball prayer. Mr. Seymour's mother. So you know, yet still you seek my aid. Oh. My son, do you not hate him? What an introduction. It is all right. He is the one who sowed the seeds of hatred. He is to blame. But I am at fault for letting him become what he was. He was always alone, half guardo, half man. Half man, half bear, half pig. To live by himself. Man bear pig. And so I became a faith. Man bear Seymour. But because I let him taste power, he began to thirst for more. He was not satisfied with my Aeon. He wanted more, more power. And he found sin. Yes. Come, Summoner. I will bestow you with my power. The Dark Aeon, Anima. Destroy sin and my son's obsession with it. Though it is small recompense for what I did to him. Right. We has Anima, and he has the highest health pool and MP pool 
of anybody with his skills here. His special attack is pain and overdrive is oblivion. Nice. Well, that's one way to finish out the evening here. Uh, when we get back to the save point, we should run through our sphere grid and get as much power as we can. Uh, we will have to figure out what we will do next. I mean, I guess we can attempt to run through the sin scenario. Uh, may or may not work out well, but we could attempt that next time. See, square is climb out of the pool no matter where we are. Got it. Go ahead and actually let's board the airship first and save there so that we remember what we are doing next time. Wow, I, I must be allergic to that Aeon. Alright. So we are 39 and a half hours into this game. That took us an extra 45 minutes to die to that boss a few times. The Sphere Grid, it is. Ooh, Titus might learn something. Uh, can I use anything here? I guess I could throw an HP sphere into one of these empty nodes. Oh, I got lost. There we go. Let's move to this node. Then we will learn the ability Quick Hit. Alright, so this is level 3, and it's taking us towards Shell, so that is not the direction we want to go. We are at the end of the line. What's Kamari got here? Uh, this is Null Blaze, this is Esuna. Nope, that is not the way we want to go. We want to go up this way, I think. Hey, Scud. Yes. We'll just go ahead and move to this node. Get the lay buster and a little bit of accuracy that'll help us out. Waka Waka, what you got? He looks like he's on a linear path. This one's strength, so let's move to this node. Uh, actually, yes, we can do that. Get our strength plus three. And max HP plus 200. Sweet. MP up 40. That's, um, that's two curas, I think. And magic by four. That's some extra power there. And what is this one? Max HP 200. That is good for her. All right, which direction are we going here? G. 
Jinx. I don't remember that one. We don't need to go fire thunder with him. We may need to go get to this node right here so that we can get all of this junk. And I don't think... Yeah, this is the direction we want to go. Eventually. <clears throat> Yeah. We're not going to get Ultima anytime soon. And let's actually move to this node. Go ahead and get what we can here. HP plus 200. And Jinx. Get her max HP plus 20. And accuracy plus 2. Then we'll move here to finally get our magic damage plus 3. Then eventually, we will move back up this chain to this spot-ish. And then come back down this way. I don't think that this actually interacts with where we currently are. But... Let's see, steel, use, no, that's that's the wrong direction. Uh, which direction do we need to go with him? Ugh. Let's see. Uh, irrelevant. Riku, where are you at? The level three key sphere. These are all damaging spells. We need her to be a healer. She is at the end of the line. So how do we zoom out? Uh, there is a way to zoom out. Damn it. <laughs> Not gonna let me do it. Focus, thunder, fire. There's Orin. There's Yuna. Holy. Wow. It looks like Yuna came from somewhere over here. Shell. Tact. Kira. Getting a little closer. A little warmer. No frost. Esuna cure. We need to go way, 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 way up here. Shit, I hate this grid. Keep snapping your back. I mean, shoot. <laughs> Alright, so if we go back the way we came... Let's see, how do we get there? There's Cure. That's a level four.
Wow, that's that's all the way in the beginning. And it's just one level four key sphere to get well, two level four key spheres to get auto life for um Yuna. Alright. So cure runs around here. What is this? That's a level two. Nothing near what I have. So let's go this direction. Wow, that's it's all over the place. And that's a lot of levels. It looks like this is our entryway. What will that give us? Reflect, dispel. Alright, so that's where we need to go. Is right up there. No. <laughs> oh, I guess that's the last spot we can move to. Maybe that's why it keeps snapping me to that point. All right, since we cannot do this in one maneuver, it would be a bad idea to attempt it now. So let's just leave Riku alone. Go back, uh, see how Lulu's doing. All right, Lulu. Yeah, we get some agility, some evasion, and three defense. And magic defense. There we go. I think Titus is also done. Everybody is good to go. Sweet. Looks like Riku made it to the end of the grid before anybody. I don't know if that's actually intentional. Uh, but, let's see. If we look at stats, she has 25 magic. Lulu has 50. Oh, and Waka has 33. Ironically, Yuna has 64. She would do more magic damage than anyone in the group. That's impressive. All right. Keep that in mind. <laughs> but, having said that, let's go ahead and save... Get all our changes here. And 39 and a half hours. I believe that will conclude part 28 of our Final Fantasy X saga. I do hope you join in next Sunday. Uh, next Sunday is not a holiday, so we should be, uh, should be streaming live. Uh, if you do miss any of the pieces, these are all on YouTube under DJ AFK. Uh, I believe the link to that is in the uh, Facebook profile. So you can just hit the link to that, catch any of them, or you can actually watch them on Facebook. Ironically, a lot of them get muted and taken down on Facebook. That's no good. No good at all. I have to fight 15 different claims against it by just other creators who have content ID type uh, equivalents enabled. And Facebook believes that they own the copyright to the fight music in Final Fantasy X, which they do not. And usually the people respond pretty quickly and release the claims, which I, I do thank you for that. But Facebook kind of is killing the smaller artists. 
just attempting to play games that you are allowed to play. I mean, if you read the agreement, the Final Fantasy X specifically says you are allowed to stream this game as long as you're playing the game and not just playing the music. There's uh, three songs that are um, not included in that. They, they do say that they no longer own the rights to three songs included in the soundtrack of this game and to mute those songs specifically. So when they come on, I try to hit the mute button as fast as possible. But it, it'll usually mute it for 60 seconds, even if it's only three seconds of audio. It's absolutely ridiculous. But uh, I do thank you for coming in. And uh, come join us next week for part 29, Final Fantasy X, AFK out. Remember, stay safe.